Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back to Remote Rewind. This week, we dive into the scandalous antics of the Real Housewives of Orange County in Season 18, Episode 8, titled, Once a Traitor, Always a Traitor. From Shannon's struggles with her new breathalyzer to Katie's heartfelt journey regarding her daughter, this episode is packed with emotions and revelations. First up, let's discuss Shannon Beador. After her do I, she faces the consequences head-on, having to install a breathalyzer in her new car. Shannon candidly shares her nerves about getting behind the wheel again. It's quite the humbling experience, especially as she also grapples with the impact on her business, real for real, due to her recent choices. It's a real moment of vulnerability for Shannon, as she recognizes the hypocrisy in promoting health while battling her own demons. Meanwhile, Katie's journey unfolds as she opens up about her messy divorce from Andrew, reflecting on the challenges of bringing a child into a tumultuous relationship. The emotional weight of her story resonates as she reveals her daughter, Kylie's struggle with naming their father, and the significance of changing her last name to Janella, a poignant moment that showcases their strength. As we switch gears to Emily and Shane, their spray tan adventure brings both humor and lightness to the episode. But beneath the laughs, Emily confronts her behavior towards Jen, revealing deep-seated triggers from her past. Her honest conversation with Shane highlights her desire to break the cycle of negativity, a powerful theme that resonates throughout the series. And we can't forget the much-anticipated murder mystery party with Teddy Mellencamp hosting the event. The vibes shift as Teddy and Vicky engage in their classic banter, with Teddy bringing up past lies, ensuring the drama remains at the forefront. Heather and Katie's interaction provides another layer of complexity, showing how even amidst tension, moments of kindness can emerge, albeit in a somewhat awkward fashion. However, the fun takes a dip as the traitor's game loses momentum, leaving fans feeling that this episode might have been a bit of a filler. Yet, the overall dynamic between the ladies keeps us entertained, even if the cricket jar gag stretches on longer than desired. As we wrap up this roller coaster of an episode filled with traitors, crickets, and emotional revelations, we leave you with a thought. Did Heather play her role as a good traitor? And with Emily's journey unfolding, is she truly mean? Or simply triggered by her past? Join us next week for more drama, laughter, and heartfelt moments on Real Housewives of Orange County, airing Thursdays at 9-8-C on Bravo. Don't forget to comment below with your thoughts on this episode.